Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number seven from the January 2023 Pure Mathematics P2 paper from Edexcel, International A Level. Now, this question here is about sequences, and here we have a geometric sequence that we're being asked to deal with. And this geometric sequence, they say, has a first term A and a common ratio of R, where R is greater than zero. It says, given that the third term is 20 and the fifth term is 12.8, show that R equals 0 0.8. Okay, so we know for a geometric sequence, the um, nth term is given by the formula A times R to the power of N minus one, where A is the first term and R is a common ratio. And N is the term that we are looking for. So the third term is 20, that's what they told us. And the fifth term is 12.8. So what this means here, for the third term between 20, okay, that means um, you're gonna have A times R to the power of three minus one, which is two, is gonna equal 20. And if the fifth term is 12.8, so A to the power of five minus one, which is four, is going to be 12.8. Okay, so if I take these two equations here and I try to solve them simultaneously such that um, I find what R is, okay, that's what we have to do. Now, the probably the easiest way to solve an equation or a pair of equations like this simultaneously is by simply by dividing them. You'll see that if I take equation two divided by equation one, the a's will be cancelled out. I'll have a r to the power of 4 over a r squared equals 12.8 over 20. And the a's cancel out, and I'm left with r squared equals 12.8 over 20. And then, therefore, r is equal to the square root of that. So you have the square root of 12.8 over 20. So you have the square root of 12.8 divided by 20. Now, hopefully, this will be exactly what we said, four-fifths. That's right, four-fifths. So, therefore, we should write it in the form they want. Four-fifths, as you know, is 0 0.8. It's 8 over 10. Okay, so that's how we can uh, work out. Now, to make it even clearer, I'll write r equals the square root of 12.8 um, over 20. Not 20.8. What did I put point eight there? 12.8 over 20, okay? And we just want the positive square root, okay? Why only the positive square root? Okay, because it says that R is greater than zero, okay? So we could get R equals plus or minus, plus or minus, but in the end, we're gonna put positive only. R is not equal to negative 0 0.8, R is equal to positive 0 0.8, because the question told us it's positive. All right, so that's part um, A done. Now we're going to go on to part B. Just sort this out. Okay, it says, hence find the value of A. All right, so that's pretty simple. Um, we know that A R squared is equal to 20. We know that R is equal to 0 0.8. So we can find what A is. A is equal to 20 divided by 0 0.8 squared. Simple as that. So it's going to be 20 divided by the last answer we got squared. That gives us 125 over 4. So 125 over 4, which we can write as as a decimal 31.25. That might, might make our life a bit easier later. So there's part B done. Now part C. It says, given that the sum of the first n terms of the sequence is greater than 156, find the possible small, let's try, find the smallest possible value of n. Okay, so now, now we're being asked about the sum of the series. Okay, the sum. All right, before we were told about certain terms, now the sum. So we've got to use the formula for the sum of a geometric series. And that, that formula is a times one minus r to the power of n over one minus r. That's the formula for the sum of a geometric series. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the value of m 
for which this sum is equal to 156. So I'm going to find out what, what is the value of n such that Sn is equal to 156, and then we can work out the value of n, which will, where the sum will be greater than 156. Okay, so that's uh, the sum of the series. We know the first term is 31.25, as we just found. And we know the common ratio is 0 0.8, as we've been told. So we can say here that um, 31.25 times 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of n, which we have to find, over 1 minus 0 0.8 is equal to 156. I'm finding the value of n for which this is true, and then I can work out the value of n for which the sum will be greater than that. So this is going to be 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of n equals, uh, so I'm going to multiply by 0 0.2, 156 multiplied by 0 0.2, y, because that gives you 0 0.2, and divide by 31.25. Okay, so I have 156. 156 times 0 0.2 divided by 31.25. That gives you 624 over 625. So 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of n equals 624 over 625. Okay, so we're going to find what n is. So what I'm going to do, I'll do 1 minus 624 over 625 equals 0 0.8n to the power of n. This gives you 1 over 625 equals 0 0.8 to the power of n. So now what we can do is we can take the log to the base of 0 0.8 of both sides. Log to the base of 1 over 625 equals n. Taking the log to the base 8 of both sides. So we can say n equals, so we're going to take log to the base 0 0.8 of oops, 0 0.8 of 1 over 625. Okay, and that gives us our answer, which is 28.850, 28.850. So we can say that um, the Sn equals 156 when n equals 28.850. Therefore, okay, the smallest, smallest n for Sn to be greater than 156 is when n equals 29. Okay, the 28th term, okay, the sum will be less, the sum of the terms will be less than 156. All right, the 29th term is going to be the first term where the sum exceeds 156 because on the 28.8 something term, it's going to reach 156. Of course, n has to be an integer. So therefore, you can't use that or even slightly more than that. You have to go to, up to the next integer, which is 29. So the 28th term will be less. 28th term, the sum will be more than 156. And that is the answer to this question. And yep, that's the whole question number seven from January 2023 from the Pure Mathematics P2 International A-Level at Excel exam. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist. Uh, the link will appear over here for the this playlist for this paper. For the topic of sequences and series from um, P2, you'll find the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video here which will tell you how to navigate my channel to find what you need. Thank you for watching and see you soon.